What's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here. Finally changed the name of the channel. Welcome to the Tricky Jam. Mahone's Tricky Jam here. This is the new artwork that I got for it. Super stoked about it. Thought about this name for a long time. Settled on Mahone's Tricky Jam. I like it. It's a reference to a card from Rocket Returns and uh, called Rocket's Tricky Jam. So Mahone's Tricky Jam. Also, I like the word tricky. I mean, Run DMC's got a song called It's Tricky. Pretty cool. That could be like the theme song, but uh, otherwise, that's that's all fun but anyways uh, I also think that tricky cool I kind of refers to like skateboarding tricks I like skateboarding eh, it's just a fun name anyways doesn't really matter what the name of the channel is I just wanted to settle on something and I think that's cool I think the artist did a great job with this gonna be updating the banner and the aesthetic of the channel as we go forward as well so look out for that wanted to throw my name at the front just so that it'd be easy to find so nobody gets confused Mahone's Tricky Jim new name of the channel so gonna be playing a game on pcgo today we've got a zygarde deck honestly this is my first go at this just got these cards on ptcgo here i have no idea how this list is going to buff out we are trying to pair zygarde with lycanroc right now and i think this could be good because obviously you can't bonnie and guzma in the same turn so like it kind of has the same problem that the that the um the garchomp deck had where you wanted to be able to cynthia and bring up something on your opponent's side of the field at the same time obviously you want to be able to bonnie but then also you want to bonnie and knock out your opponent's like non-ex non-gx threat at the same time that's like super big right so you want to be able to do all those things you don't want to just get your, you know, just knock out or just hit into whatever your opponent's got in the active position, then just have your opponents benched non-EX, non-GX threat that they're building up as they probably will want to build up because they know that Zygarde, you know, only invincible against uh, EX and GX Pokemon when it uses that GX attack. So they're going to be building something up on the bench and maybe the Lycanroc will allow you to go in and take care of that card. That's kind of my thought process. I don't know, only playing like three copies of Bonnie right now. Maybe you need four copies. Uh, playing a 2-2 Lycanroc line, three Zygards. Yep, let's draw these cards, see what we get. Okay, that's pretty good. And a Max Elixir. So I'm playing four Max Elixir too. Let's see what we could do here. Go get ourselves a Zygarde, start powering this thing up here. And I could just have like a turn one Zygarde here. Let's max Elixir to it. Yup, I have like 11 fighting energy in this thing. So I think that I just wait on this hand and just go in with my Verdict GX maybe next turn. Uh, then I could just Bonnie, I don't know, maybe. Uh, I think I should probably Let's set up a little bit more, actually. Let's just let's just continue going here. I mean, like I could sit on it, no real point in sitting on it. Let's just uh, let's just move along here, see if we can get anything else going. I did not get a rock rough, so we are just going to sit on this hand. I think I have to, yeah, bring this guy out into the active position just in case my opponent field blowers me. I think ideally we would have liked to have gotten a rock rough here. And you can see how powerful this would be. Just a turn two, like a rock and verdict GX. And I'm really going to town on, you know, whatever my opponent has got going on over there on the bench. Definitely I like that Lycan Rock makes your cell connector way better as well because you can cell connector and target things on the bench instead of just cell connectoring into a just a Pokemon in the active position that you might not want to target down. Now I did see some beast rings in my opponent's deck, so I know that they are playing. B string. I know that they're playing Dusk Main. Now I wonder is this I I'm guessing from the Registeel that they are just doing like a manual attachment to the whole Dusk Main thing here. And so I think that that's probably what they're going to do. They're going to try and like turbo arm and then they're going to try and get some ideal turns where they B string onto a bunch of the Dusk Mains all in one turn and then blow up my guys. Now that was not a very fun parallel city there. I really wish the Brooklyn Hill would have stuck. There's a couple cool things that I can do with this hand if Brooklyn Hill does stick. I mean, I could go grab a Remoraid and I could set up for Octillery the following turn. I also would have been able to potentially go get a Rock Rough and do that. So you can see that they've already got the Mew, e uh, the Mew out, not Mew EX, just the Mew from Fates Collide out. 
Now, if I was able to, you know, like and rock this turn, I could take out that Mew, which would be pretty good. But let's uh, let's see, where does my opponent throw this energy to? They're going to throw it to the big boy over there. And let's see what we top deck. We've got a choice ban. I think that, I mean, I can just go in and verdict GX. That's probably fine. I mean, I, I will get damaged by this Mew next turn. But it probably is going to be okay here. Better than not knocking it out. I could just do Land's Wrath, knock this thing out. My opponent probably is not going to knock me out with that Dusk Main next turn. So I can probably get away with doing that. In which case, hmm, I don't, I don't know. I think I probably just start GXing here. I, I don't think, I mean, they could Max Elixir a bunch, but they, and I wonder how many Max Elixirs they really play though. They would just have to attach a Max Elixir once. That actually scares me. So I think I am just gonna Verdict GX here and knock this thing out. I do have the Bonnie in my hand, so that's fine too. See what we get off the prize. Just a basic fighting energy, that's okay. I'm just going to keep chugging along here and see what we could do. I, I, my opponent, I imagine that they're probably going to bench a Registeel and just like hit me again for 60, which is fine. I can always land's Wrath and just like, a, you know, attack with Zygarde again or something like that. Or they might just have nothing and have to send up Oranguru. That, okay, they're going to Guzma. This is fine with me. I have one fighting in the discard pile. I will be able to accelerate with Cell Connector here. And that is really good. So they use Guzma as their supporter for turn. I don't think that they're going to be able to charge much of anything up. And I highly suspect that they'll either just pass or get a maybe a metal energy onto the Mew and encounter and go find a Pokemon that will allow them to draw a little bit more. They opt just to throw the energy onto the Dusk main, And I definitely respect that. So I think here I probably just go like, Float stone and attach here. And I think I'm just going to Bonnie and knock this thing out again. That way my opponent cannot GX me unless they goose my next turn. So I kind of like that. Let's just retreat into this one here. And let's retreat. Okay. And we're going to Bonnie. There we go. Oh, and I get to discard the stadium. That's fantastic. I forgot about that effect of Bonnie that you need a stadium in play. Okay. And we're going to verdict GX again. So that is pretty nifty. Not going to lie. Definitely don't mind that. We are in crucial beast ring territory though, so we do need to be careful because my opponent could easily just power up both of these dusk mains here. If my opponent's sitting on energy Guzma, this thing is going to be a goner. They're just going to blow it up, but I suspect that if they do just have energy Guzma, then they're leaving my Zygarde here just out in the open. I mean, I could Lands Wrath. I'm only hitting... 180 damage with Land's Wrath, though. That is a little bit of a hard cap. I might need to throw a Reggie Rock in here as well. They do have the Guzma. So I would need to hit my third Bonnie. Oh, and they're beast ringing. Okay, so here they go. They are probably just going to throw these energies onto the Dusk Main here. GX, my guy. Then they'll be able to Meteor Tempest. So that is pretty scary here. If they instruct into another copy of Beast Ring, then I'm really in some trouble. I uh, That would be quite the rip, though. I mean, they're only drawing three cards. They do play Max Elixir, so that would have been pretty good, but they did just thin some energy out of their deck, so it probably makes sense that they didn't hit that. All right, and they are going to knock that guy out. Now, uh, unless I hit my Bonnie, I mean, I don't have a way to, I don't have a way to hit that that nasty uh, 190 damage here. So we do have a, a Rock Ruff. That's really good. I think that I'm going to start by probably just attaching to the Rock Ruff so that I can maybe Lycan Rock here eventually. And then let's just uh, attach probably a Choice Band to the Rock Ruff as well. And we could just end. I'm probably just going to do that. End myself to four here. And Brooklet Hill, really good for me too. Definitely don't mind that. Let's uh, let's go Brooklet Hill here. And I think I just need to get a Remoraid. Yeah, so that I can eventually draw out of this stuff. And I think I just need to, I need to Land's Wrath. I just need to hit into this thing so that it can be knocked out next turn. Let's just retreat. 
into Zygarde, and we just have to Land's Wrath here. Now, this is really bad for me just because my opponent does have another turn of just Beast Ring. That is a crucial whiff. I think I definitely, definitely, definitely need to throw a Reggie Rock in here. That's just a learning experience for me, and, you know, it it's fine. They're going to discard all their energy here. If they can get four energy onto this benched guy, they're going to be ahead in the trade uh, unless I can Guzma and knock it out. Yes, they do have a third energy there. So that is really bad for me. I definitely would need to Guzma in order to knock that thing out. I don't think I'll be able to Guzma. I think they're just going to run away with this game here. Uh, we just whiffed that knockout that one turn, and you can see what happened. I definitely need to play that Reggie Rock. That's just that's just uh, the simple the simple part about it. I just need to play a Reggie Rock in here. So that's a learning experience. We'll play another game. We'll get a Reggie Rock in the list and see how that works out for me. Uh, my opponent's got a huge hand. Uh, I could end them and just hope that they don't draw what they need. Uh, I could also potentially go get uh, there's a bunch of different things I could maybe do all right let's uh let's ultra ball away these guys here I think I want to try and maybe and I could try to corner their no that's that seems bad uh let's see let's ultra ball for the octillery and then I get to Brooklyn Hill for something as well hmm I could I think I have to go for like just the Zygarde play. What, where I like get whip up a Zygarde? What, Max Elixir? Max Elixir? No, I can't do that. That's like way too much in one turn. And then hit Bonnie too. Like that's never going to happen. They have two prizes left. I think. Sure, we'll get we'll get the Zygarde here. And we're just going to attack with this Rock Ruff. And uh, let's Abyssal Hand. I think what this has a flip. And I guess we're flipping. Okay, so let's see what we end up doing here. I think I need to uh, I have an end, so that's really good. And then do I have Rescue Stretcher? I do have Rescue Stretcher for Lycanroc, so that's really good too. I think I'm going to bench this guy. Let's Rescue Stretcher for my, yep, put a Pokemon for my discard pile into my hand. Let's go get that Lycanroc there. And um, let's, hmm. This is looking like a silly play now, but that's fine. Let's just uh, let's just bring up. I think I want to bring up the. Uh, everybody's got free retreat. Hmm. I think I just want to bring up this guy here, and then let's just end my opponent, and let's just hope that they can't hit an energy, uh, or the Guzma that they need in order to finish me off, like for sure. So, because uh, they cannot attack without like discarding, so I have to like kind of finagle my way out of this as you can see now the hope is that they just don't have energy guzma if they have energy guzma that's game but since they're they have to discard to attack so i could just like run them out of energy but if they got guzma here that's that's game over my hope is that they can only instruct for one oh they got it Alrighty then my opponent just dumpstered me with this tech okay let's uh let's make an edit to the to the zygarde deck like i said this is like my first attempt with zygarde so have a little mercy here we're gonna try this again try throwing a reggie rock in here i think if i just have reggie rock that one turn i like win that game for sure so let's uh let's try making that little edit here see how that goes and try another game let's go into the deck manager this is the list that I'm working with right now. I think that the Lycanroc makes it better, uh, in my opinion. I mean, they both attack for fighting and a, a double colorless. I think that that's just really good. I like the Tapu Koko because, like, that was, like, kind of my fix for, like, Pokemon that have more damage than you could deal, like Gardevoir and, you know, 190 hit point uh, guys there. So, like, that was kind of my idea there. I think that Rescue Stretcher is good. Two Guzma is good. I think that, I don't know, you could go to one Guzma. I mean, you are playing Lycanroc. It's not like the biggest deal in the world, and you usually are going to be using Bonnie instead. So, like, you could do that, and it's not so bad. Like, that's a little bit greedy. You could go to 10 Fighting Energy as well. That's probably what we'll do. Just go to 10 Fighting Energy, and let's throw the Reggie Rock in here and see if we can help fix some math with Reggie Power. All right, so we're going to try that. 
see how that works. And uh, let's uh, give it a good old shot. All right, we're going to play one more game here with Zygarde, see if we can make this guy work a little bit better. Now, I have not really looked at too many people's lists or anybody's lists for this deck. This is kind of just me brainstorming. You guys are just getting to watch me kind of brainstorm live here and figure it out. So that's kind of the fun, though. Like, I don't, uh, I like to kind of brainstorm and have some fun myself when the new sets come out it's kind of it's low stress right now having a lot of friends come over this weekend and we're kind of all going to be brainstorming these decks together try and figure out what works and what doesn't work so uh you know we got a little bit until madison until we really have to get these decks hammered out madison regionals is going to be i guess the last big tournament before the north american international championships that i play with this Forbidden Light format. So kind of like my last chance to get things tested out now. Enhanced Hammer seems really bad for my Zygarde deck. I'm not going to lie. Definitely don't like to see that. That is no good. But that's uh, that's okay. Looks like we're playing against Zorark Lycanroc here, if I had to guess. So let's Brooklet Hill. And we're going to go get ourselves a good old Zygarde. Okay, let's get Zygarde out. We do have the Diancian deck. We do have the Regirock deck. That is good. So... We'll get him, and then this seems like a little bit rough, but I think I'm probably fine. I could just Ultra Ball, a probably a Bonnie, and the Octilla. No, I mean, then I could... All right, let's Ultra Ball the Rescue Stretcher and the... Hmm, no, let's just do this. Let's Ultra Ball the Octillery and the Choice Band. That's fine. And then let's go get ourselves, I think, probably a... We can get our own rock rough. I like that. Um, let's see. What does... Hmm. We can get our own rock rough. I do like that. Yep, let's get that. And then I actually want to take a minute to read Bonnie. And uh, let's see. What is this? Uh, you can play this card only if there's a stadium card in play. Discard that stadium card during this turn. You, uh, your Zygarde GX can use this GX attack even if you've used your GX attack. So I think that's cool. So we can actually Verdict GX after we've Dangerous Road. That's actually, like, really cool. So let's do this. Let's, like, uh, shuffle three Pokemon from a discard pile into, like, let's throw that Octillery back into the deck. Just throw a Choice Band onto the Zygarde and Sycamore. Let's just do that. And try to get set up a little bit more. I like that. Okay, so we can just, uh, I think we're going to discard that Fighting Energy. Keep the Float Stone and maybe discard the Sycamore. I actually want to keep the Cynthia here because I might not want to use my Lycanroc. I might want to save it. So let's just do that. We didn't get an attachment turn one, but this is fine. This is like a great board position for me. I've got Lycanroc in hand, Octillery in hand. I'm ready to go. If I hit some Max Elixirs next turn, I could easily hit Max Elixir DCE and just Dangerous Rogue next turn. That's like super good for me. And then maybe later in the game, I can Bonnie and Zygarde. I think that Lycanroc and Zygarde, I think they make a good pair together. They both use double colorless energy. They both have like really good GX attacks. And like I said previously, just being able to bring up somebody on the bench while also using Zygarde is really good. Uh, also being able to like target something on the bench and use um, and uh, make yourself invincible, also really good. These things are just like really super good. I love that Zygarde's not weak to Psychic as well. So this whole deck, not weak to Psychic. That is great. Let's start out with the Octillery, of course. Then I think I want to, yep, do that. Let's Brooklet Hill grab somebody else. I think we want to grab maybe another Zygarde. I mean, we're kind of like throwing a lot of Pokemon on our bench. Like, yeah, we're walking into a dangerous rogue here, but I think that we just need to set up. Um, there's not really any, you know, way around that. So I think that, yeah, let's just... Uh, how many DC do I have in deck? Knocking out a Zerua here would be really good. So let's do that. Let's uh, let's get ourselves another. Oh, I would like another Rock Rough, but that's not on the table right now. So let's just get another Zygarde. Yeah, that's fine. And then I think what we're going to do is we're just going to yeah bring up a Zerua. I actually want to do that. So let's do that. And then we're just going to Abyssal for three here. Hope we had a double colorless energy. If we don't, no, we got a max elixir though. So actually that's cool. If I hit this max elixir, then I'm good to go. I did. So I'll just throw that onto probably the one without the choice band. I don't really need the choice band in one right now. 
we could do that and then let's just Cynthia I could save the float stone but I'll probably just let's just throw it and let's Cynthia let's just go ham we're gonna go ham Zygarde here and see what we can do I could get myself another Octillery and just really ham this out but I don't want to I think I'm just gonna be a little bit more conservative let's just retreat here my opponent does not have any sort of like energy in play so I'm definitely on the upper hand gonna accelerate another energy to myself right here with the cell connector got a Guzma for next turn so that is fantastic we're looking pretty strong here early on with the Zygarde got another energy in hand that's great I mean I could verdict GX next turn that is really good I could ultra ball for or Brooklyn Hill for my uh I could Brooklyn Hill for my What's it called? Yes, the Diancie. I could Brooklyn Hill for Diancie here, which would be super good. And then I could, uh, you know, Guzma and Verdict GX the Lele, or I could obviously just Verdict GX this Zorark here. That is going to be really tough for my opponent to deal with now. They're stacking the deck with Mallow. I wonder, like, what in the world they could even do to deal with this Zygarde right now. Like, this is really stressful for my opponent going second for sure allowing me to get um, the first attack off and just really getting to apply all this early pressure like oh they've got this okay they could dangerous claws okay for 30 but i'm not like super worried about this i guess they could also corner me but are they going to be doing enough with corner in order to knock me out after they dangerous claws they've got wow this is like a Thick Lycan Rock line. Okay, so they are really playing like 80 damage. I don't like that. I mean, that feels really bad. But they've only got one card in hand, so I think that I'm probably cool here. I think I'm just going to do this, and then let's just Ultra Ball away the Brooklet Hill, not the Brooklet Hill, the Octillery and the and I don't and the Sycamore. Let's get the Sycamore out of here, and then let's go get ourselves. Probably, let's see, I got rid of the Octillery. Let's just go get ourselves the Coco, I think, or the, we can get the Diancie. That's probably fine here. I don't really know why I would need it, but let's just get it out. I'm fine with that. And then let's throw down this Float Stone as well. I'm gonna put that onto the Lycan Rock, I think. And then let's just Guzma. I think we're just gonna Guzma out this, uh, yeah, we're just going to goose them out to Zorark here. Just take my opponent's draw away. Really just try to hinder them here. And then let's Abyssal Hand for three. Get three new cards. Hopefully get a Max Elixir or something. Got a double colorless energy. That's fine. Let's just retreat. And I think we're just going to Verdict GX. Like, I mean, obviously, I don't think, unless they got like multi-switch or something, there's really no point in Verdict GXing this turn. I might want to just save Verdict GX for next turn because I know that their only attacker that they've got going on is this guy who they'd have to corner me with. So let's just Land's Wrath, actually. Knock it out. That way I could save my GX attack for next turn. I don't have a Bonnie in hand. Now I do. So now I'm good to go. If my opponent can't knock me out here, I am, like, definitely cool. But no, if they're just going to Dangerous Claws me, so... I hang on by like 10 hit points. That is crazy. And now I am good to go. So we're just going to attach, I think probably the Lycanroc is going to get powered up quicker than the Zygarde at this point. So let's just, uh, I think we're just going to Land's Wrath. And then I can actually just say like, you probably won't attack me next turn. I don't think they got anything going on. And then I actually can Dangerous Rogue. I think I leave myself in a much better position giving myself the Dangerous Rogue here as a backup option, just in case I Verdict GX there, and then my opponent, like, pokes me or something. Yeah, so we got there. That actually worked a lot better. I'm thinking that that, uh, this kind of version, I think the Lycan Rock is just a clutch addition to the Zygarde deck. I think that that really worked out very well. Uh, in fact, I mean, I could kind of throw it for one more game. Let's give it one more shot. That was kind of a short one. Let's give it one more go here with the Zygarde deck. Get three games in. That way you guys can get a really well-rounded idea of what this particular Zygarde list I'm rocking with, how it works. I mean, we set up pretty good there, but my opponent didn't really have too much going on. But I was able to target down both their Zoroarks. So obviously they're going to dead draw if I take out their draw support. So that was really good for me. They did have that 
non ex non gx like a rock there it was a little scary it definitely put on some pressure but was not able to eventually knock me out we start our one copy of tapu lele again are you kidding me here all right that is uh that is kind of tough but that's fine i'm not too worried about it we uh, got a floatstone in hand got a brooklyn hill got an ultra ball we've got plenty of cards here and I think that I could even knock out this Tapu Koko on the first turn of the game if that thing were to stay in the active position. Now, I didn't take a super close look at what my opponent's playing here. Not going to lie, I actually have no idea what my opponent's playing here. So we're going to wait and see what they got going on. Let's see. Double colorless energies. That makes sense. Guzma. I did not get to see what types were in their deck. So show me what you got, sir, Mr. Ultima Key. Show me what you got going on here in that deck of yours. I see you've got a nice red coin. Okay, I have a Chansey coin. I like my Chansey coin. I use that every time. Nice full art, Lele. Show me what you got, Lele. What are you going to wonder tag for? Probably a Bridget. If I had to guess, probably a Bridget. Uh, we got a Bridget. All right, what is Bridget going to grab here? Brigetti. Brigetti. What do you got, Brigetti? Brigetti. All right. Show me your thing. Who do we got? Oh, boy. This is bad. We are playing against a Wimpod deck. Uh, not a Wimpod deck. A Galisopod deck. This is seems to be probably a not good, if I had to guess. This is not good. All right. We're probably going to get smoke showed here, but we're going to give it our best shot and see what we could do. We do have the Pokemon we need in order to, like... Um, knock that out oh my gosh do i really go in with a turn one zygarde and just hope that they don't knock it out i think so like as sketchy as that is i think we just go in and hope that they don't hit the free retreat and just go from there so i think that that's just what we've signed up for here let's uh ultra ball away the fighting energy so that we can accelerate it yeah we're gonna do that and then we're gonna hope we hit this max elixir too so I actually am going to need the Regirock out. I prized Diancy, so I am going to need that Regirock in order to hit the correct numbers here against this Tapu Koko. So let's do that. Let's do that. Let's max Elixir. Come on. All right, we got one. And then we just need a Sycamore into an Energy, and we're going to knock this out. So that would be pretty good for me. Yes, we did. We got the Energy. Good stuff. Okay, so I think I just uh, attached the double colorless get the rock rough down get the remoraid i mean that's like an ideal start for me this is like great uh, if only i wasn't playing against a galisopod deck all right cell connector so we knock out the coco but all my opponent needs to do is get like a double colorless energy and a galisopod and they could just armor press me for knockout that is like really really bad but i mean we're playing against we're, we got an entirely grass week deck like this is just what we signed up for here so we're just like Oh, he had the Glycopod in hand, guys. That is not good. <laughs> that is bad. So I think that they have to find a DCE, though. If they don't find DCE, I'm fine because they didn't actually come into the active position this turn. But I imagine if they have DCE in hand, they're just slapping it right down. They're not going to wait at all. They're just, yep, and we're going to armor press, get this thing right out of here. Now, if they don't, I'm actually kind of fine. Uh, field blower. What do they got? Okay, come on. Let me Lycanroc and Verdict GX. Let me do that. Come on. Don't have a DC. No Zorox, no DC. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. All right. So you're saying there is a chance here. That is great. All right. Let's, uh, I mean, obviously, I prized my, I prized my Diancy. So I cannot knock out this Galisopod this turn. So I think, I mean, I could bring up the Lele. I think I'm actually just going to bring up the Zerua. And then I'll probably... Verdict GX the Zerua. So let's do that. Let's just, uh, yep, we're gonna, yep, let's bring that thing up. Let's just do that. Let's do that. And then I think we just end here. That seems fine. I want to save some bench space. So let's just end. And then hopefully I get an energy can attach to, yeah, like a rock. Okay, I got Bonnie as well. So we could be just in the clear here for a couple turns. This seems super good. Uh, I could attach to Tapu Lele is actually not weak, which is great. But I think if I attach to the Lycan Rock, I give my opponent like, a super juicy target here if they have Guzma in hand. So I think I want to actually go in on the Lele. Seems like safer. But then the Lycan Rock could, I think 
Well, why not both? Let's do this and then let's try to max elixir here. No, I was gonna say, all right, we can max elixir to the lele. Okay, that's fine. Let's just, uh, let's verdict GX. All right, folks, here we go. Verdict GX, we are playing against a Golisopod deck with a deck that is entirely weak to Golisopod. Okay, so that's not good, but here, if we do 150, 170, 180, I mean, we could verdict GX again for 180, that's pretty good. I get to ban, uh, but, oh, I can't Verdict GX. No, I can't because I need a stadium card to Verdict GX and my opponent field blower that away. They probably played tons of field blowers. So that's like super rough for me. Uh, I can actually do a little bit of damage with that cell connector though. So it's like not the worst. Thing. Oh, they put a stadium out for me. Okay, let's get this thing out of here. That's good. But I need a double colorless energy bad. All right, this is fine. They're gonna end me. I could easily draw <laughs> into Double Colorless Energy Bonnie. Okay, so we don't actually have an Octillery out. An Octillery out would really help us here in our, you know, in our uh, desire to knock out this Lele. So that would be really good. They've got one Zorark out. I, hmm, feeling a little stuck here. I think I can knock out this Lele, though. If the Lele stays in the active position, I could go down to two prizes pretty quick. So that wouldn't bother me. And then I could just finish the game off by dangerous or claw slashing the Zoroark. So if they can't get this Tapu Koko out of the active position, I could e easily eat this thing alive just with Land's Wrath. I mean, I could do 130, 140. Uh, just Choice Band would get me there. So that would be great. Let's see, and I could Cynthia into a choice band. That wouldn't be so bad. I could win this one. That could be a thing that we do. That that could happen. Uh, it's definitely feeling a little sketch, but you know that's uh you got to just go in and and hope that they don't draw what they need. I uh, obviously by taking out the one Zarua, I kind of limited their draw there. So that's good. We got a double colorless energy. I want to slap that. I think I want to actually. Let's see, Dangerous Rogue, no, I can't Dangerous Rogue, I could Claw Slash, I don't want to Claw Slash, I definitely want a Land's Wrath, okay, let's do that, yep, gonna do that, I'm gonna put the Float Stone, probably has got to go on the Reggie Rock here, that's cool, and then I think we just got to Cynthia, hope that we draw that Choice Band, and we did, oh, excellent, and do we have Anything in the discard? No, I have nothing in the discard pile I can use. That's fine. We got what we needed here, and we're going down to two prizes. So let's just lands rat this thing. Then we just need Guzma, but I need a DCE as well. So here we go. All right, let's do it. We got 170. Okay. We would love a Rock Rough. And oh my gosh, we could do it. Uh, we could do it. We need. Guzma, though, so I can Rescue Stretcher for the Lele. If they don't end me here, I am fine because I could just Rescue Stretcher for Lele and then could just uh, Claw Slash one of these Zoroarks and it is game. That would be insane. I have to. They are definitely going for that end here, though. Ooh, it's going to make things a little bit harder than I want it to be. Oh, yeah, there's the end. This is bad, so they've got the DC, they're going to armor press. I do not plan on knocking out this Glyspot. I don't want anything to do with knocking out Glyspot. I just want to take out one of these Zoroarks and swiftly end the game. We do have an Ultra Ball though, so that is really good. We could easily hit Guzma uh, or Rescue Stretcher for Lele and a DCE off of this here. So that would be really good. If not, we're going to be in a little bit of a tough spot, but we've got some time to get things figured out here. I was able to take such a commanding lead early that we've definitely we've got another turn i don't need to take the game this turn i can wait one more turn so long as i can get myself like a rock rough or something like that just a rock rough with an energy on it then i'm very close to being able to close the game out so they are going to field blower they're probably getting rid of my float stone that's like mildly annoying here i think that i am just going to promote the mm, i am Probably just going to promote the Reggie Rock. I have to promote the Reggie Rock. That's like the safest play. So we're going to do that. And then I'm going for Guzma DC. All right. That's the play. What do we got here? Okay. Let's see. What can we do? We got a Max Elixir. I have to Ultra Ball that away, unfortunately, I think. Um, that, or I could just like, yep, got Ultra Ball that away. And I could just Sycamore in this hand. Huh? And just say like I'm not gonna hit it, but I don't like that. Let's just let's just ultra ball the hand away. 
Let's get myself an Octillery, and then we're gonna just go ham Octillery here. Like I said, if I can just get my hands on that Rockruff and throw an energy on the Rockruff, I'm also like in a fine spot here. Uh, we got a Brooklyn Hill and an energy. Okay, so that's like not the world's best, but it doesn't lose us the game. We could just go get that Rockruff, and so long as I have I have another Lycanroc in deck. So, so long as I do this, now I am just in a spot where all I need is Lycanroc and DZE to win the game. So I'm actually going to throw the Choice Band down as well, just in case they end me. So I imagine that they are going to end me, but they can't end me and Guzma me in the same turn. They're in like a weird spot. They don't even really want to end me. And, and oddly enough, I actually win the game easier if they knock out the Lycanroc. They have like these two options. They probably have Guzma in hand, but they have to knock out one of these guys. They want to knock out the Lycanroc GX because it keeps them on even prizes and brings them down to two prizes, but they kind of have to knock out the Rock Ruff as well because then it makes it so I don't have to find a Guzma. Then all I need to do is draw into an Ultra Ball, and I've already got DC in hand. So it's easier for me to win the game if they leave the Lycanroc down, but they are closer to winning the game if they take this like rock if they take neither of them out then i have like a bunch of options to win the game and that would be super good so they aren't taking any of them. they're gonna mallow okay so i wonder if they i and they're probably if they grab parallel city that would be a real bold move if they parallel city both of their lichen rocks away or both of their zoroarks away that would be like insane i, I don't actually no i guess they can win the game if they do that if their hand is big enough they could parallel both those guys away but that would mean that i mean i could technically hit what i need i think to knock out that can i what 110 140 no i can only hit 160 uh, i could rescue stretcher the reggie rock back and then also get myself um i could rescue stretcher the reggie rock back then get myself the Diancy, and then, like, knock out the Lele. But that would just be, like, way harder than knocking out one of these Zoroarks. So uh, I wonder if they are going to – are they going to parallel both of them away? That would be insane. Like, I mean, they could just leave themselves with the game-winning cards in hand, parallel the – they are. They're going to parallel them away, and they're just giving themselves game in hand, and they're going to be like, listen, Andrew, you either got it or you don't. They're getting rid of both Zoroarks. That is a crazy move. I really props to my opponent for, you know, uh, cooking up that one, though. That is a wild play on their part. Now, I can win this game. It's just going to be very hard now. So that was, like, definitely a good play on my opponent's part. Kudos to them. Cool stuff. Um, this is tough, though. I don't exactly have a great way to knock out that Tapu Lele, but I do have a way. It's not what I want, but uh, at least I get to Sycamore for it. So I need to hit, all right, Sycamore is good. This helps because I could just go get the Diancy now. So I need to get the Diancy and I also need that Rescue Stretcher right there. So that's it. I just need, and I also need that Lycan Rock. So a few things here. First of all, let's go get that. Second of all, let's attach that DC there. Then we're gonna Abyssal Hand here. See how many of those pieces we could hit off the Abyssal Hand. We got the Lycanroc. Okay, so that's good. Let's bring up... Yup, let's bring... They... I didn't have it yet. I didn't have it yet. I don't think I did. 110, 140, 160. They scoop. I did not have it yet. I needed to go get the... Hey, we'll never know. I would have hit it. You guys believe in me. I think so, right? Am I, am I crazy? 110 plus 20 is 130. Plus the choice pans, 160. I needed to hit the rescue stretcher for the Reggie Rock, but they just, uh, I guess they just scooped. So that was uh, that was pretty wild stuff, though. I think that the Zygarde deck, pretty good with Lycanroc. You guys saw there that even against a Golisopod deck, we were able to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. So I'm going to show off that list one more time. I'm a believer. I think that the Reggie Rock is, uh, was a difference maker because even then, we were going to have a big Sycamore, right? So like we had a Sycamore. We probably had like maybe... Maybe a 40% chance of hitting the rescue stretcher that we needed for game there off of that Sycamore. So not like the world's greatest odds, but not bad. I mean, we were digging into maybe a 20-card deck with a Sycamore. Uh, so maybe a 45% chance of hitting that hitting that rescue stretcher for game there. 
But yeah, I think Zygarde and Lycanroc work well together. I think that maybe this Tapu Koko is not needed, but I think that you would be glad that you had it if you were playing against a deck where Pokemon have more hit points or against decks that played Fighting Fury Belt. So I like the Tapu Koko. I'm going to keep him. You could play Tapu Koko or you could play the... Uh, the Latios does like the same thing. You like 30 30 and actually hits psychic Pokemon for weakness. And Loki also like knocks out the uh, whatever those uh, Inkes. So, you know, the uh, Latios could be good too. But other than that, I think this list is pretty solid. It did everything that it was supposed to do. I mean, uh, three Brooklyn Hill. Maybe you want to play a four stadium just because you do have to discard your stadium when you use Bonnie. But I love the Lycanroc GX and the Zygarde together. I would play them together if I was going to build this list on my own. So thank you all so much for watching the video. Really appreciate it. Three games got their long video today, bonus video today. Shout out to all my amazing Patreon subs. You guys rock. Shout out to everybody who's bought a Sabrina playmat so far. You guys are amazing. Appreciate it. Those are going to be shipped out, I think, at the end of the week. They are on their way to my apartment now. So uh, thank you all so much to everybody who's bought those. They are in the description below uh, in my Etsy store. You guys rock. You guys are amazing. Shout out to everybody I saw at Toronto as well. Take it easy. Peace.